It's a real taco, it's not pretty. Tacos are an essential part of Mexican cuisine and have been a food staple here in Mexico for centuries. Tonight we are going on a culinary adventure through Mexico City to discover the most authentic tacos the city has to offer. We're heading to meet up with our friend Jorge from Bondevu Tours who's going to be showing us all around tonight. Are you guys hungry? Ready for some food? So hungry, good. Good, good, good. good, good, good. Are you come hungry too? Yes. Uh, tacos what? Tacos Beto. 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 It's a it's a short for Roberto. 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 You go Beto. So here we're gonna try a campechano taco. You remember we already had that one. Mm -hmm. It's a beef steak. Okay. And chorizo. Okay. But the difference and particular thing then here is it's a thing they call cochinada, mm -hmm. which is, and the literal translation means disgusting stuff. Mm -hmm. And what it is is they take all of the fried residues from the grill that they had and they scrub them up and they put it in your taco. I know it sounds pretty gross, but it's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All the things that have been frying all day, so that's why we do it this late. Mm -hmm. What are you drinking? Mango so this one's boing. It's like a sugary mango drink. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> Going for the first bite. <laughs> wow. They're so crunchy and delicious. It is so tender with all those little crunchy bits with all of the herbs on top and the onions and the salsa. That is phenomenal. Good start. Oh my gosh, that's the best first bite. I don't know how I can get better than that. That's amazing. You eat the taco with the first tortilla from one side and all of the, all of the things that it drops, you put in the next tortilla and you eat it. Oh, that's a good tip. Yep. Wow, delicious first stop. I love all the leftovers, kind of crispy and burnt a little bit. A bunch of locals here. It is took a little while to get the food. So busy. Great for stuff. Chiote. Chiote. So we're at our second stop to try the famous Alpasor tacos. We're here at this a very interesting location. So during the day, it's a mechanic shop, and at night, it turns into a taqueria. So we're here to try the Pastor tacos. El Vilcito. I'm always like referring to Jorge for the name, so I'm like, I don't want to mess it up. Alright, let's go. There are such professionals here. So they actually got this from the Lebanese, but now it's a Mexico City tradition here. This is the best El Pastor tacos there are in the city. The guy who worked in the spit actually worked here for 10 years. He's such a pro. He can slice the pineapple, catch it in the taco and the tortilla. <laughs> Can't wait to try these. Let's dig in. Wow, such a busy place. They have three different spits. That's how busy they are. Most taquerias only have one. So that's a total of three. The energy in here is crazy, right? Yeah, so many people, it's back. Yeah. Probably for good reason. Pastor has been delivered, so we got it con todo, which is cilantro, onion, pineapple, and salsa. All right, going for the first bite. It's sad because now every time you ever have a pastor taco, it's never gonna be good. This is so <laughs> it's never gonna be this good. <laughs> so delicious. The pork is marinated in like this really like very seasoned achote sauce, so achote seasoning, right? It's a real taco, not pretty taco. Yeah. <laughs> Tacos ripping. Ah, the sauce is totally making the tortilla like destroyed, but in the best way possible. I love this. Wow. Juicy, with a little bit of spice, and the pineapple kind of gives it that fruity taste, cools it down. Best taco ever, right here. That meat's so tender, too. What do we have here? What are these? Right, over here, these are called volcanes, which is an overcooked tortilla until it's crunchy, and it's a um, rib and cheese. Rib and cheese, okay. Wow. 
that cheese is so melted and delicious. This is like a crunchy pork quesadilla. Like if it wasn't like, if it, it almost tastes like quesadilla because there's so much cheese in it. This is delicious. Is pastor your favorite type of tacos or no? No, it's not. No? What's no, your favorite? I'm sorry. My favorite type of taco is tongue taco. Beef tongue. Oh, beef tongue, really? Yes. Are we trying that tonight? Yes, we are. Sweet. All yes. right. Salud, salud. So this place is packed for a good reason. He says it's one of the most famous taquerias in all of Mexico City. And El Pastor lived up to the best. Best taco I've ever had. Amazing place. Maybe get here early because it is pretty packed. Okay, thanks for my idea. So the next place is called Tacos Tony. It's pretty much just across the street from the last place we tried. And here they're known for their cow tongue tacos. He says they're delicious. They're his favorites. Let's find out. Oh my god. So I'm excited? doing that one. You, all right. They're also pretty good suadero tacos. So, suadero? So, uh, I know that one. Remember the one we had, okay. beef brisket? So maybe you can do that one. We'll maybe do one suadero and one beef tongue and we'll share them. Exactly. Okay, uh, no, That you. was what I was thinking. All right? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> okay, so here we are. <laughs> we're like talking about Harry yeah. Potter and Tommy's like, okay, taco okay. time. <laughs> focus, guys. Focus, focus. What are you trying? Okay, so here we have a suadero taco. It's beef brisket with the classic onions and cilantro on top. We tried this at the market with Jorge the other day and it was phenomenal. So I'm very excited to dig into another one tonight. Yes, I love the beef. It's so salty and so tender. It's absolutely amazing. Like really clean. It's, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna copy the expert here. Go the salsa verde route. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh, it is? Yeah. I'm gonna be sweating in no time. <laughs> Already I take my sweatshirt off. All right, his favorite. Cow tongue. Beef tongue, yeah. <laughs> Wow, that is so tender. Spectacular, man. Mm -mm. You're right, you hardly have to chew it. Just melts in your mouth. Man, what's better? This is the last one. I don't know. You're missing out. Yeah, You're missing out. Too. Both these last places, they have cars. Kind of like a drive through yeah. They just hang out there, wait for their order, and eat tacos in their car. It's like a drive through taco stand. With their own music. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, which is a Los Pericos. So we're here to try La Gringa Taco, and it's like a bean soup that he was telling us about. I don't know too much about it, but I'm excited to give it a try. So tell me what a gringa is. A gringa is... I know we have one right here, but... <laughs> the other type of gringa is uh, flavored uh, flour tortilla with uh, pastor meat and cheese. Kind of like a quesadilla with pastor, but obviously with Onion, cilantro, pineapple, and such. All right, I love it. More tacos. Sounds, sounds like something a gringo would love. <laughs> Was it a gringo because it's a flour tortilla? Okay. The gringa, it's with the flour. flour. That's flour. the key. That's, that's what makes that's it. That's what makes it a gringa. It's the flour tortilla. Whoa! Uh, what is this? All right. Buen provecho. Gracias. Gracias. It's a cheese chicharron. So what they do is they put it on the grill. Until it gets like. This amount of crispy. A little bit of lemon on it, believe me, delicious. Okay. Delicious. Let your <gasps> hunger guide you. I thought it was chicharron with cheese, but it's cheese gr melted and grilled until it's like crispy like a chicharron. You know when you order a quesadilla and you have those like bits of cheese that are just like falling out of the edges? And those parts are the best? It's like an entire serving of just that. It's so yummy. It's like the crisp. Hey, slow down, bro. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of the cheese it, but better. Like homemade. It's like a a homemade cheese it. So this is La Gringa. It is. 
looks like a quesadilla to me, but I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it's a quesadilla because there have been lots of different names thrown around for different tacos tonight. Tacos are very versatile, but it's typically just, you know, the tortilla, some kind of meat, and the onions and cilantro. But this is gonna be the flour tortilla, the al pastor meat, and cheese. Wow. Look at all that cheese. Look at that cheese pool. And I did put lime and I put the red salsa. Usually the red salsa is, you would think that would be the spicy one. The green salsa here is the one that's the spiciest. It is so spicy. Okay. Never mm -hmm. I love the, the victory. <laughs> Alba store is good, but with cheese, it is even better. The flour tortilla, I prefer corn, but flour in this situation, this is... I think it's because it has less flavor. You can, you can taste more of the meat. Yeah, yeah, you get, more, you get more of that like achote seasoning flavoring with the cheese. So the gringa likes the gringa? The gringa likes the gringa. Mm -hmm. This is baked uh, cooked beans. Cooked like over a while. You know, it's one of those things that every place has its own recipe. Yeah. But they're specifically here, they're pretty good. Mm. Like a homemade bean soup, that is amazing. Great spice, too. You said there's chicharron in here? Yes, there's chicharron, bacon, and, and chorizo. Bacon. And chorizo, yes. And chorizo. Yes. Ooh, that's, that's. How can this not be delicious then? I am a super, super, super fan of this right here. It almost has like a little bit of a kick to it too. Like this is seasoned yes. so well. We've eaten a lot of tacos tonight, so to have like the homemade cheese it and the bean soup, definitely not the names for these things, but they're absolutely delicious. <laughs> so good. I know, the gringa is delicious, but my favorite thing, I have to say the soup is amazing as well, but the homemade cheese it's I love cheeses, don't get me wrong, it's like my, if I can pick any snack, that cheese is the one I go for. Homemade cheeses, what's not to love here? Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna take all this with me. So simple, yet yeah. it's so amazing. It is, yeah. so good. It's like literally one ingredient. The aftertaste, oh. Burnt cheese, it's so good, man. We love extra toasty cheeses. Oh. Tommy's favorite snack. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> I'm so stuffed, but it's so good. I'll keep eating. Yeah. This was such a wonderful stop. We are so incredibly full. Our next stop is going to be to go have a drink at a cantina. So let's go. Thanks. It's actually really mm -hmm. easy. It's very fruity. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's really good. Oh. Thanks for a great tour. I'm an so awesome happy guide. you guys. I'm so happy you guys had a good time. Wow, what an amazing tour. So many delicious tacos. Thank you, Bonabu. Such a great way to start your time in Mexico City. Delicious food, excellent guide. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.